Do you want to know how to upgrade your sound for about $1,000? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly that. We're going to get into it right after the jump. And I'm back. Now you guys asked me in the last live stream to make a video about home theater sound for about a thousand dollars. And I know there's a lot of you out there that have a TV, nice new 4K TV that's super thin and it's also got super thin sound. Or you have a sound bar and it's just not giving you enough power, enough oomph, anything like that. So this is definitely for you guys as well. And I'm gonna take kind of a different viewpoint on this. We are gonna to get to a 5.1 system in this video, but I'm also gonna start with a two channel system. I've been scouring the internet, looking for options and taking all the guesswork out of it for you guys. And we're gonna start right now. So I'll have a link in the description that'll take you to my recommended products here on Amazon. And everything's kind of divided up into sections here. As you can see, there's one for integrated amps, and we go from $220 up to $600. Then there's bookshelf speakers under $600. Then there's this little accessories part, you know, speaker stands, cables, or if your integrated amp doesn't have Bluetooth, there's a little Bluetooth like receiver. And I even have this ELAC Yamaha setup for under $1,000. And this is everything that you're gonna need. These are the ELAC Unify UB5. Now these are a four ohm speaker, so you're gonna to need to make sure that your amplifier can handle four ohm load. And the total for all five items is 982. So this is an example of a thousand dollars system that is better than a sound bar and it's gonna give you a lot better quality and a lot more enjoyment, especially if you're listening to music. So a two channel setup is just that two channels, meaning a left and a right speaker, and that's it. Now to power that, we do need an amplifier. So I've got a little list of integrated amplifiers here from 220 up to 600. So this two channel setup is kind of going to be better for people that listen to more music than watch TV. Like if we go into the bookshelf speakers under $600 list, like I highly recommend uh, the Klipsch RP-160M, the ELAC Unify B5s, the Klipsch RP-600M, and of course these Klipsch the sixes if you just want to connect up your TV and then do Bluetooth. These are a great option. These are actually $5.99 and they come in two colors. They just have this kind of vintage look. It's kind of limited. It does have optical in for your TV. It's got a phono stage or line in depending on what you want to plug in there. And it'll accept USB audio from your computer. So this is also a good option. Here, let's pick the black ones, add that to the cart, get rid of the banana plugs. Get rid of the speaker wire because you won't need it. So here we are at 669. You will need speaker stands. I did review these a while back. So I do know that they perform very, very well and they also look pretty cool. So that's an option, another option for you guys that like this kind of like vintage look and don't want to hassle too much. Yeah. Out of these speakers, you know, I know a lot of you guys like these Elax. Um, they're only 240 for the pair. I like these Unify UB5s because they are a three-way design. However, they are four ohm speakers, so you need to make sure you match up the proper amplifier for that. I like these Klipsch because they're the older versions of these. These are the newer ones. You know, these uh, 160Ms used to be 549, but now they're down to 329, so you can save some money there. They are eight ohm speakers, so they'll work with pretty much any of the amplifiers in this video okay so let's go to the integrated amp section here check out this Onkyo. This is the TX8140 two channel network stereo receiver. So right here we're seeing 80 watts per channel into eight ohms. I do not see a six ohm or four ohm number. So let's just not pair this with the ELAC. We're definitely gonna use like some clips or something else for this. For $220, this is not a bad deal. It's got a 3840 kilohertz, 32 bit DAC, uh, built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I think down here it tells you like all the stuff that it works with. And we got a Asahi Kasai digital to analog converter converter like I mentioned and it even supports DSD files so this is a pretty decent little two channel receiver let's check out the back we've got two optical inputs we got two digital coaxial inputs let's say you watch a lot of content on streaming apps with your TV you're gonna use the optical output from your TV to go to optical one or two on this receiver and let's say you have either an Xbox One X or PS4 Pro you can plug that directly into this receiver as well via the second optical. Uh, you've got a phono stage if you want to plug in a turntable and you got a whole lot of other analog 
inputs, you got a subwoofer pre-out. $220, that's not bad. So let's let's go match some speakers up with this. Let's add this to the cart. Go back to my little page here. Bookshelf speakers under 600. Now, since we're only spending 220 on the receiver, like why don't we just go ahead and pick up these brand new clips and see what kind of price everything comes to. So we're at 769. Okay, let's add speaker stands. Now these banana plugs will give you six pairs. You're gonna need only four pairs, but you know, it's like that hot dog and hot dog bun situation. They give you eight hot dog buns and like, what, 10 hot dogs? Ridiculous. Like, what are you gonna do with those extra dogs? And now we're at 873. We've got our speaker cable. We've got the banana plugs. We've got speaker stands. We got speakers and we got a two channel uh, receiver. So we're at 873, not bad. We're under 900 bucks. Now, if you wanted to go with a higher end integrated amp, there is this other Onkyo, which is $130 more. Gonna definitely get us close to that $1,000 now. And the difference between the two, this has a better digital to analog converter. It's a 768 kilohertz 32-bit DAC. This one also supports speakers at four ohms. So you could even go with the Elax and this Onkyo. So let's add this to cart just to see what it's like with those Klipsch speakers and see if we've broken that thousand dollars let's see i think we did and we're at a thousand four okay so not bad now it's got most of the same stuff except it's got you know some higher end components the DAC is better, the transformer is better. It's just a better integrated amplifier. Now this does not have a Bluetooth or any kind of way to stream anything. So you could pick up this guy here for 40 bucks. Where are you at? So add, let's add that to cart now. So now we're at like 1,050. Oh, 1,042. And we've got a Bluetooth setup and we've got some good clip speakers and we've got upgraded amplifier and we had to put this in here to add Bluetooth so you can stream from whatever your favorite device is. Now, of course, if you wanted to just delete that clip and go back and pick up the older ones, you know, you save some more money. These are 329. And we're down to 822. So there's a lot of different ways you guys can use my page here to kind of custom make your setup. Now, since this Onkyo does go down and is stable at four ohms, I would check out these Elax with them as well. So here we are, it's 893, and we're gonna kick the pants off of pretty much any sound bar that's out there. Back to these integrated amplifiers. All right, so here we are with this Yamaha for 550. And if we look on the back, it only has one optical input. So we are at 1021 with this setup. So this may be something you guys wanna look into, or maybe not, or let's go back over here these elac debut 2.0 b 6.2 bookshelf speakers are 240 for the pair boom and now we are down 932 so we're under a thousand dollars here for this okay now let's get into the actual amp that i recommend here and that is the yamaha music cast audio component it is the WXA50. It works with Alexa and it's got all the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth stuff that you're gonna wanna need. And it's also got a very, very small footprint. On the back, we don't get too many inputs. We have the one optical, which is gonna be from your TV. On this Yamaha, you've got an auxiliary in, you've got an auxiliary out. So you can plug in at least one more item into this directly. It's got a subwoofer output. And the best part is that it's actually pretty powerful. Outputs 105 watts per channel into four ohms. So this is a great match up with the Elax, but you can also match these up with any of the other 8 ohm speakers here in the bookshelf speakers under $600 section. Boom, we're at 911.25. This is another cool setup here, less than $1,000. All right, everyone, let's move on to the 5.1. Now, 5.1 is done a little bit differently. In the two channel, you know, I got the bookshelf speakers with the cables and the banana plugs and the speaker stands. For 5.1, I really won't know how many speaker stands you need. I won't know how much cable you're going to need. So those kinds of things are going to be out of the picture. Okay, so you're going to have to add a little bit extra for your budget. All right, let's check out the first two categories here. 5.1 speakers under $500 and then 5-point speakers under $1,000. Now these are pre-made 5.1 speaker systems from these manufacturers. So let's jump into this. All right, so the first one is an ELAC 5.1 for $250. Not bad. That's a pretty good price. I uh, didn't know they made this actually. Found this the other day. I was completely surprised. It's on sale from $400 down to $250, so that's a pretty good deal. With any of these, you're going to want to go down here to either the discounted Denon AVRs 
and pair this up with, with this 349 Denon. It's the AVR X2400H. Or check out the Onkyo, the discounted Onkyo receivers. They have one starting at 290. That's the NR585. And then for $304 is a NR686. And then for $399, there's the RZ620 and so on and so forth. So just kind of pick an AVR, add that to this price. So this with a $300 receiver, you're at $600 and then you have plenty of budget for cables and speaker stands. Uh, next up, we have a JBL for 259. Another small little setup, but hey, you know, it'll do the job. Then we got a Polk for $300. Again, pair that up with a $300 AVR, you're good to go. Under $1,000, even with cables and speaker stands. Okay, here we have another Polk audio system, a little bit more expensive, 381. And then we have the most expensive one in the group is 450, and that is for Eclipse 5.1. I've actually never seen this on their website, which is kind of interesting. So I don't know if it's old or whatever, but hey, it's there. All right, so now let's move on to the 5.1 speakers under a thousand. You're gonna need to stretch your budget a little bit for this. So this will be like kind of around a thousand, more like 1100-ish. So here we have the Orb, which are really interesting looking 5.1 speaker set up here. 698, so 700. Pair that up with the 300 or $350 receiver. You're at, you know, 1,000 or 1,050. Good to go. I found this Paradigm setup for 699. I didn't even know they made like a little setup like this. So that's kind of cool to find out. Again, $300 AV receiver, you're good to go. Now we're getting into the above $1,000 system. So this is the Focal 5.1, the Sib Evo. And yeah, so you're gonna need like a budget of at least $1,300 or $1,400 to get this setup up and running. Same goes for the SVS Prime Satellite 5.1, which goes for $1,000 for the speakers themselves. I actually had this in for review and I was pleasantly surprised at the amount of volume, at the subwoofer, and it was just a great experience overall. And I actually had this running with an Onkyo NR676, which is the older model, the 686, you'll find here under the discounted Onkyo AV receivers. And I think that's this one for 304. Yeah, 686. So I had one of these, the older one, paired with this uh, SVS Prime satellite system, and it did a fantastic job. It was a great pairing, and it could be a good pairing for you as well. Last one in this category is the Klipsch Black Reference Theater Pack. Again, $9.99. You can pair it with any one of these discounted AV receivers, either the Onkyos or the Denon X2400H, and you'll be good to go. All right, so now let's go to the speaker packages that we kind of have to make on our own. Here's a 5.0 from Fluence for $400. All we need to do is add a subwoofer, which is the Fluence subwoofer. It's a 10 inch subwoofer, 200 bucks. So now we're at $600. Go ahead and pair that up with, you know, this Denon X2400H and we're at 950, not bad. Okay, let's move on to Fluence bookshelf. Now this is a little bit more expensive than the other Fluence by $125. And that's because it's the signature line. So technically it's a better speaker line from Fluence, but they are bookshelf size. Again, 10 inch subwoofer and you're good to go. All right, so now we're moved on to the smallest Klipsch setup I could find or cheapest. Now we have the R41M. Now this 16390, this is for a pair. So you're gonna have to get two of these so you have a total of four. Two for your mains, two for your surrounds. Here is the matching center and the matching 10 inch subwoofer. So all this for 800, so you're gonna pop in another three or 350 for a receiver. So you're gonna be at about 1150. Next up is something I put together. This is a Polk Audio. This is their lowest or cheapest line. It is the T-Series. Now for this, it is a floor standing speaker. You're gonna have to get two of these because this $89 is just for a single speaker. So you're gonna have to get two of those. And this T30 is the matching center for 79. And then the T15 is for a pair. So $60 for a pair. And these will be your surrounds. And of course, we got a 10 inch subwoofer over here. And that all plus a Denon X2400H will put you under $800. Not bad not bad at all so you get the floor standards that's pretty cool now if you wanted to take it up a notch on the polk audio side and go with their signature speakers here's a bookshelf system now again this is one of those situations where they're selling these by the pair for 174 dollars you're gonna have to buy two of these 
So you have two of them for mains and two of them for surrounds. Polk Audio S30, this is the center channel that matches up for the Signature Series. And we have the Signature Series 10 inch subwoofer. Now pair that up again with the Denon X2400H and we're at 1100. Now if you wanted to bump this down by 50 bucks, you could you know, pop in this Onkyo or this Onkyo for $300 instead of the 350 that we got going on with this X2400H from Denon. So again, it's just it's it's all up to you guys and what you guys can afford. And don't forget, you're definitely going to need to get speaker cable, banana plugs, and some speaker stands for all this equipment. Now, you don't necessarily need to do banana plugs if you want to know how to connect uh, amplifiers to speakers. I have a video on that that I'll link in the description and with the card up top. Now, you probably won't need a Bluetooth receiver as all these AVRs are Bluetooth friendly. They also can connect via Wi-Fi and they'll have support for all the streaming apps that you like to use. All right, guys. Well, what do you think? Do you think you can figure out how to pair things up? I pretty much laid it out for you. And if you click the links down in the description, that'll take you to all the pages with the discounted AVRs, with the integrated amps, with the bookshelf speakers, with the 5.1 speakers, everything is there laid out for you. I even went ahead and found you guys some cheap cables and some inexpensive, better cables and some you know speaker stands. Everything you need to get going is down in the description. Now, if you guys have any questions for me about this or anything else, please leave them down in the comments below or hit me up on whichever social platform you guys like to use the most. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I am your techno dad and I'll see you next time.